Hey guys, so I'm Sarah. I'm a stay-at-home mom of five. We homeschool. We live in the desert. Um, my channel is all about mom things, so if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for coming on. And if you're newly subscribed, I want to say a hehe Navajo. That is a Navajo word for thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for being here with, oh my, no, <laughs> for being here with us. I'm also battling health issues, but I don't let that deter me. In fact, I use it as my motivator to push even harder, although I do listen to my body, but I wanted to let you know that I myself have health problems, still trying to be, of act, be as active as I can. I'm also doing this whole thing called the gym journey. I'm learning to appreciate my body, build on strengths that I want, and also to just take care of myself because I have five littles who I want to live an abundant life for. So thank you for coming into my video, everyone. And for all my family who are subscribed, y'all are my family, and I want to say thank you for watching, guys. I hope you are inspired today by all of the beautiful things I will show you. Um, I know my vlogs are very streamlined. They basically go in a flow as we go. Um, I don't add too much theatrics. I would love to, but I haven't. And then throughout here and there, I talk a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot about like my opinions, mom life, things I think about, but I just wanna welcome you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're in the valley, the desert too, let's enjoy the sun. Okay, let's get to this park. Good morning, hey everyone. Um, yeah, it's a Vinny. We are at a park this morning, so today we're kind of actually hitting up a lot of little parks. I thought we'd take a break from the homeschool books today. Just kind of get out, enjoy this warm weather. Uh, I think it's projected to be about 84, 86 degrees today. And before the hot, hot, hot weather comes, I'm like, let's get out and enjoy this weather. So that's what we're doing. This morning we dropped off Paige at GCU. We were going to go to the gym because I had a class, but I was running a little late, so I had to cancel that. Okay, but now, um, you know, we had to stop at our usual salad and go and get the little some lemonade. I love spoiling them like that. When we can get lemonade, go to the parks, have our bag of snacks. Okay, give me five minutes. And for lunch, I plan on having borrows. I'm planning on taking a little some borrows for lunch. We'll see how that goes. In the meantime, that's what today's vlog is going to be about. A bunch of little parks in an area we haven't really been in so much. I'm not sure how many we will hit up. So first off, we have this amazing, incredible park. Yeah, we have this amazing park. I'm going to put Nara on the swing, so give me a second. your other shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. Mm. So cute. Where's your other shoe? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I love you. Oh my god. 
Thank you, baby. Yeah, your shoe. We found your shoe. Okay. Yay! Let's put it on. Okay. Say okay. Good job, Bobby. Good job. Let me continue to show you the rest of this park. So it has a bunch of green space, everyone. Thank you. And yeah, like this video because it's, you know, park related fun related family family related uh, omi can you push them for me very quick please okay so we have this cute place structure there's two slides going down a little climbing up a little slide and it wraps around there's another wraparound slide little stairs and there's a fun monkey bar so that's the monkey bar. it has a cute gymnast bar and it's amazing spinning bar so basically this bar just kind of spins with you it has a seesaw it has a turf volleyball field there's a sidewalk that goes around this whole entire park it's it's a circle it's cute you can see the wood chips we love that we like that a lot better than sand and my favorite there's a little free library here if you don't know what this is basically what you can do is it allows people to bring books you can trade them take them borrow them when you're done you can put them back or keep it and if you have books that are just sitting around in your house you can bring them here it allows people to come here look at books have fun with it there's a chocolate book We found ourselves a couple of books, I think maybe like six, and we're gonna put it in the vehicle. Aside from children's books, you often find like romance novels, mystery novels, and then you do find books such as this that kind of talk about faith. <laughs> it is cute! It's so cute! Um, What's that? Come What's my mission? Okay, very gentle, very gentle. <laughs> Mayhem is super daring, so brave. <laughs> this is fun. Yep, Mom. and we're gonna be safe. Mom, where you going? Because this park is smaller, it does not have restrooms. So we're going to have to wrap this area up, head to some restrooms, and go to another park. We'll see you at the next one. Hey friends, we are at the second park, Sienna Hills. So basically, if I forgot to say it, the first park was Compass, and the second park is Sienna Hills. It's pretty small, beautiful, no restrooms either. I asked little, so you guys want to go get lunch now, go use restrooms, and then go to another park? And they're like, let's just jump out at this park. So we're here at this park. Um, Tons of green fields, nice shade over the Ramada, very, you know, as part of like my aesthetics talk, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing. Um, modern, industrial, they have basketballs way on the side, soccer fields, they have all of the playground here. Again, it is mulch, so it's beautiful. The sun was hitting me a little bit harder, and if you're new to my channel, I have lupus. Yes, honey? Mm -hmm. Friday, haven't got paper for Chloe, help us out, we go away. And thank you, God, that we can come to you and pray for things big and small, God. Thank you. And help Chloe feel better soon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're supposed to get Nahum a haircut today at some point, so we'll see if we can get that done. Um, comment below if I should get my hair cut. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. He likes, you want to grow your hair out? Yes, but not that long. Okay. All right. So, um, basically just park life. I'm stuck with um, the lemonades, of course. And yeah, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my Instagram really quickly. I think I kind of mentioned it in my previous vlog. It's really hard to upkeep both both um, Instagrams. I don't know what I was thinking. I know I went into it with a well-intentioned heart. I tried to keep like certain aspects of my um, life more private just because I did have friends who um, 
I did have friends of mine who my littles are also friends with and we take lots of pictures, put it on my Instagram and for the sake of their privacy, I was like, I should make it personal so that I'm not showing their children's faces out in the public. Um, where so it's when it's my family, I'm choosing to do so. And it's part of my vlog. And I'm also very careful with the amount of pictures I put out and how they're placed and you know, just all of that. I don't even know where I left off. I had to run and help the little selfie. One of them doesn't fall. Some of them kind of like, well, okay, so Noel climbs up and when there's no railing, I have to literally be there because sometimes he'll be daring enough to just kind of put his foot out and he won't take the whole thing. But I feel like one of these days when he just puts his foot out, his other foot will just kind of give out. And so that makes me a little nervous. Um, jet's flying over. Um, I really love this area. This is one of like a cute area that I love. I'm also keeping an eye on Noel right now because there's a pond of water and he likes to jump in the water. everyone we are at the third park for today so we had lunch at Barros. the littles really like this park it's new to us um it's a it's a pretty good gem they have a glider they have the spider web um they have volleyball mats swings baseball um baseball fields give me one second and then they have like a bridge going up with um ramadas a big play structure, all different types of slides. I think it's pretty good. I think this is a keeper. We definitely would come back another time. Um, obviously, this is one of Nara's favorites that she's on. She loves it. And they have a seesaw. Hi! It's pretty cool. They have tons of slides. They have like a little kid's slide here. So cute with a bend at the bottom. And then this thing, I don't even know what this is called. Maybe it's like a lava sort of thing. They have plenty of natural rock play, which is like good for the older littles. Although I do still get a little bit of anxiety with my mom heart, like, oh, don't trip, don't fall, don't bust your head open. Um, and then they have a bridge coming from the sidewalk up on top to the play structure. I think it's really cool. And obviously more slides. So I think it's nice. There's also big trees. And I feel like we would come back again. I feel like there should be more shade. Like this is a really nice park, but there needs to be a shade over this playground because we live in a desert and it gets hot, y'all. It gets so hot. <gasps> Speaking of which, what time is it? I have a class at the gym soon. We might have to leave soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this day with us. We showed you a lot of cool little parks, basically one of our, our day out. <laughs> and then I signed up for a class at the gym I'm planning on taking a muscle class. I did sign up for Tabata as well, but I might just do the muscle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish up here, head to the gym pretty soon. Yeah, honey? Mom life is, you know, so fun, and I love our homeschool journey. I feel like we're flexible enough to go ahead and enjoy days like this, um, and then of course go hard at other areas, but um, we have a full day planned this coming week. I just thought today would be really nice to go ahead and get outdoors. If y'all are a homeschool family, let me know how you guys like to spend your days outside. Um, one of the things I've learned about... <sighs> one of the things I learned about while homeschooling is appreciate the cooler weather. So when it's like a beautiful day, that's when I want to be outside most of the day and draw, do school outside, play, go hiking. Um, and obviously every single day we try to be outside, whether that's just playing in our backyard, um, anything, I want them to be active, but, oh, careful, good job, Ooh. um, 
So I don't know how your family, I don't know how you homeschool, but we try to appreciate the outdoor weather. And then when it comes to summer, obviously it's hot. So we try to do as much school as we can inside. I feel like doing school during the summer has been so helpful for us. It's so helpful because it's so hot outside. You can't really go to the playgrounds. You can't really go hiking. Um, there's plenty of snakes out. And it's really sweet to just kind of stay home, play with the water, the pool, the trampoline, um, and then doing a lot of school. So it's really good. But I hope you guys are having a really good day, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at. I'm having fun watching my littles play. Hi, no. I think he's really appreciating this slide. He hasn't seen this type of slide before. Ooh, good job. Good job. It's like, what? All right, so I'm gonna stop vlogging here because I'm gonna go play with my littles. I'll probably see you later when I head to the gym. Bye. I did forget to quickly mention very quickly before I jump back into other stuff I was talking about. On my last comment, I think, or one of my last vlogs, I received a comment about me needing to purchase some shades. I have shades, y'all. I have like three shades and I just don't wear it. But you know what? When I saw that comment, I was like, you know what? I don't need to buy shades. I have shades. So now that I, I don't know, I'm bringing out my shades more and I'm going to wear them more. I should be wearing it. It's just really hard to wear things on my face. I don't know if any of you are like that. Maybe you have some tips and tricks to share with me, but um, it gives me a headache. At the end of the day, it's just throbbing. Um, I have this one, it's kind of thick, it's a little heavy. It's a coach, um, coat shade. But I also have my other shades too, like aviators and others that are kind of like lighter. So we'll see, we'll see, it's experimenting. Of, kind of a trial by error. You go, you figure it out, you take it out. Yeah. All right, we are at the intersection before the gym. So I just want to say, guys, thank you for watching my video today. I hope you all have a really good day. Be kind and keep hydrated. Bye, guys. So go in it.